Hey everyone, uh, this is a video review of the Notes Geologic Timescale. This is the actual Note 16. Um, okay, so just want to uh, just slide it down. So let's go slide one. So the Earth is 4.56 billion years old. Pretty old. All right. Um, in that time, a lot has happened. So we break things down into these smaller divisions to help us with that. So we divide the geologic time scale up um, into chunks. All right. Uh, we base these chunks on scientific interpretation of the rock record. All right. Uh, as well as biologics or life. Uh, the largest unit are called eons, okay? Eons are divided into smaller pieces called eras. Eras get divided into periods, and periods get divided into epochs or epochs. So, um, largest chunks to smaller chunks, okay? Um, and again, major life events like extinctions or blooms. A bloom is when a lot of life happens at one time. Uh, also, some geologic events as well. So let's go into it. Eons. All right, eons are huge. They represent a great time, so the largest amount of time. Uh, we only have two eons. We have number one, the Precambrian Eon. Um, so this is from the beginning of the Earth, 4.56 billion years ago, until about 540 million years ago. So this is a huge chunk of time, okay? So pre-Cambrian means before life, pre-before Cambrian life. Um, there were no, not many, I would have said no, there was not many organisms and they were very simple life forms, um, single-celled stuff, algaes, um, you know, the cavorting beasties you find in a pond, uh, but nothing nothing like complex like us or your puppy dog or a dinosaur or large fish, large mammals, large reptiles, none of that, all right? Uh, so <laughs> it's hard to identify all of these life forms um, because any fossil record that was found in rocks has been disturbed, whether it's been destroyed by a geologic event, a seismic event, or that they were just too small and didn't have hard parts to leave good fossils behind. Uh, these little soft single-celled organisms, they're just hard to find. Uh, they generally got destroyed, especially if they were layered between these uh, layers of sedimentary rocks. And of course, any rock that is igneous or metamorphic was heated to a point where these life forms would be long gone. All right. The second piece is the Phanerozoic Eon. And that's from 540 million years ago to present time. And this is cool. Um, that starts when we had a big bloom or blossom of life. Okay, life forms were more identifiable after that. Um, and we know a lot more because there's a much more complete rock record, although it's still not completely perfect from that point in time. Okay, so here we are. This is our geologic time scale. Uh, here's our Eon, Phanerozoic, um, and the Precambrian. Don't worry about these breakdowns. Those are a little more complex. Um, and it's crazy because this piece looks so small, the Precambrian, but it is the larger amount of time. But what you're going to see a lot is that these 540 million years are really divided out a lot because there's, there's a lot of info to be had here. Sorry about my O's. There's a lot of information to be had here. Life, um, death, uh, geology, uh, the creation and destruction of continents and, and, and mini continents and supercontinents and uh, life forms that are nowhere near around anymore and life forms that are now only ones around, okay? Uh, and that'll be page eight and nine of your reference tables and we're gonna go through that in a different video. So. Those eons are broken down into eras, okay? The eras that we divide. So we're not really going to get too far into the Precambrian. We're going to stick to the Phanerozoic because that's the time period that has the most information that is important to us. So in the Phanerozoic eon, we divide into Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. 
So again, this is the old one and this is the recent one. Okay, so that's 540 to 248 million years ago. Paleozoic, it means ancient life for people who love a good Latin lesson. Mesozoic, 248 million to 65 million years ago, so much more recent. Uh, and this means middle life, really. Uh, meso, meaning middle. Um, uh, and, and Cenozoic, recent life. Okay, this is 65 million years ago to present. So this is where you'll find uh, the humans are in here somewhere, although we're only a few thousand years old. All right. Uh, these are still huge chunks of time, right? We're still talking uh, 200 and change million years. We're talking uh, just under 200 million years. We're talking 65 million years. So we break these down into further divisions. Um, but these breakings are, are these divisions, the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, um, these are based on life changes, all right? So uh, the Paleozoic starts with a great bloom of life and ends with a, an extinction. The Mesozoic starts with some different life and ends with an extinction. That's the dinosaurs right there. And the Cenozoic starts and it'll end in an extinction. And the creepy piece about that is the next mass extinction of the Cenozoic, which obviously hasn't happened, is going to be the human extinction. So bum, 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 a little drama. So back to our chart and there is our... Uh, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Middle, and Cenozoic, Recent. Um, but still so much information for each of these, right? So much going on. So let's break it down a little further. Let's look at periods. So each era is divided into periods. Okay, they're smaller. Um, these are categorized by different life changes, all right? Usually changes of life forms, life form changes uh, compared to the prior. Um, and there's 11 periods in the three eras. So we're just going to scoot right over to them. And the periods are uh, in the Paleozoic. Down here, we have the Cambrian, the Ordovician, the Salarian, the Devonian. We have the Carboniferous, which is have subdivided into Pennsylvania and Mississippian, which we'll refer to them more about anything. The uh, And that ends with the Permian, okay? And then at this point, we have an extinction, okay? And then we move on to the, get this stuff out of here. Then we move on to the Mesozoic. And the Mesozoic starts with, and these are probably a little more familiar terms for you, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous, okay? And it ends with the extinction of the dinosaurs right there, 65 million years ago, all right? And then, then we go into more recent times, right? And that is going to be the Cenozoic that's up here. And we break it down into uh, tertiary and quaternary. Uh, but then look here, uh, we also break these down into further very specific names. We'll talk about epochs or epochs in a few. Um, but this one is still going on, right? The Cenozoic is still going on. Um, and excuse me, sorry about that. The Cenozoic is still going on, so we don't know when the next extinction is going to be. Uh, and we certainly don't know other than the fact that it's going to be humans that are going extinct. The next one. Sorry about my phone right there. Um, someone's trying to get in touch with me during my office hours. All right. Breaking down periods into epochs. All right. So if you look on the reference tables, page 8 and 9, the epochs on, on the the um, Paleozoic and the Mesozoic, they're like early, middle, late, early, middle, late. And then you get up into the uh, Cenozoic and it's really specific. It's because the information in the Cenozoic is, it, it's still around some of it, all right? So the Cenozoic is the only one with named epochs is what I'm trying to say. And that's because uh, details about life, that's what we're talking about, details about life, um, can be really specific. The information is still with us in the recent Cenozoic. So that's why you see names here. And again, all these, you're just going to see each piece is going to have an early, a middle, or a late. Not that difficult to worry about, okay? Um, so all of the names and times, the geologic time scale, all right, are on page 8 and 9. All right, there's a video up. That should help you at eight and nine. I'm also gonna do another video, break it down once I get my technology sorted out a little better. Um, 
All right, this is Mr. Zatola with a little video review of uh, Geologic Timescale. Uh, and this is actually number 16, note 16, Geologic Timescale. And I just want to say uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, miss you guys. I uh, was at the school the other day and realized how much I miss the school myself. So um, hope everything's going great. Stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll hopefully see you soon.